Hey, I'm Dave Watkins, Watkins Films. Now, I recently got a copy of an Arrow video release of The Long Good Friday. Not The Long Good Friday. It is The Long Good Friday, as in the day Good Friday, because not much good happens for the characters in this movie. Uh, now, this is a, an Arrow UK release, as you can tell by this age rating in the corner here of 18. It is a 1980 British gangster flick, and it is fairly violent. Bob Hoskins, in his breakout role, he plays a gangster, a, a, a British gangster who is finds himself in, in a situation where his men are being killed and his um, businesses are being blown up by bombs, and he, he doesn't know exactly who's doing it, and he needs to get to the bottom of it. Now, Bob Hoskins gives a powerhouse performance in this movie, and it and it like I say it was his breakout role. Um, this this also began a began a stream of British gangster movies following the the success of this movie. Now, Bob Hoskins, the first time I saw him in something, most likely was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and that was my first experience with his his acting. And I've always enjoyed really anything. It, it, not necessarily the movie itself, but I've always enjoyed his performances. He always, in, in all of his performances, he always elevated whatever he was in to a different type of level. Now, I recently got the umbrella release of Super Mario Brothers. Now, I did see this when it first came out, and it, it, is, it is fun, but it's, this is a pretty pretty bad movie uh, in general. But this is an excellent umbrella release as far as the, the 4K transfer and and the, uh, the cover art here. Now, the movie itself... It it starts off with a series of different different scenes that about uh, some gangsters getting some, they're getting some money in this one in this one scene and then another scene where it goes to a bar and there's one who's the getaway driver's caressing this other guy's leg and then they and then some of them are, are killed by some agents and then you know, so a lot of this stuff is it's kind of you don't know exactly what's going on and then this lady walks up to this other guy who's sitting on the street and she spits in his face now there are a lot of little things like that at the beginning it's a little confusing until bob hopson's character's character shows up and then it starts to become more about his character but all the things that happen at the beginning or later later make sense when the main plot of the movie is is uh, revealed and there are some twists which i'm not going to give away here i would recommend watching the movie that happened not not like twist like like six cents type of twist but just some some explanations about why he's being targeted um this also stars helen mirren as as his girlfriend who um she's very young in this movie and it's a very i, I think her performance was is very nice she didn't have as much she didn't have as many monologues to deliver as Bob Hoskins, but she does a good job. Um, Pierce Brosnan is in the movie, a very small part. Um, he's he's only in it briefly a couple of times, but it's a very important part. He's also very young looking in this movie. And, and another thing about Bob Hoskins' performance, he does he does seem very raw in this movie. And the way he delivers a lot of his monologues, it, it is very. Um, you can tell that maybe maybe some of it was probably ad lib, but it is very very nice and, and a very energetic performance. And there's a particular scene, probably about three quarters of the way through, between him and one of his other other guys who he thinks has betrayed him. And it's a very intense build up of that scene. And this that's that's a, a, probably the best scene in the movie. Now something that really caught my attention in this movie was the music, and it in an unexpected way. Now the music here it sounds like something out of a, a horror movie it reminds me of the music from phantasm and it has that kind of late 70s early 80s vibe but it really works well within this film and it it um it helps like it helps the suspense it really brings it forward as the movie goes on um, but let's take a look at what what we got here as far as the, the packaging now so here's the this is some new artwork that was commissioned for this release. And here's the, on the inside, we have the same one. Now, if you go to the, the UK vinegar, not vinegar syndrome, the UK arrow website, you can get a special artwork. There's another one on the site different than this. That's only available on the UK site. Uh, let's look at the inside of it. Um, so here's the disc. It's a 4k disc. They, they don't offer a Blu-ray in this, 
in this set. They usually don't in the Arrow in the Arrow sets. They either release the Blu-ray separately without the 4K. Here's a booklet, the same cover art. And one thing, let's take a look here. Now there, yeah, there is a reversible cover. Now this is the original theatrical cover art for this movie, which which looks pretty good. But I do like this new new version better. Um. So yeah, there's Bob Hopkins on the front and the back. Now, one thing about, um, I was just thinking about with Bob Hopkins' character and Helen Mirren's character, there, there is some really good chemistry between those, those two characters in this, in this film. Now, and they don't really do anything too intimate. As a matter of fact, from the beginning of it, I, I thought they were brother and sister, but it turns out further into it, I realized, wait a minute, they're, they're, they're like uh, yeah, that's his girlfriend. So, um, but there is it, it is a good good chemistry between them, and it works really well, and it makes you really feel for for her character for what eventually happens at the end. Now, this is an insert about the restoration. the The Long Good Friday was restored by Arrow Films. It is presented in its original 185-1 aspect ratio with the original mono audio and new Atmos mix. The original 35mm camera negative was scanned in 4K resolution. The film was restored in 4K resolution and graded in HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Scanning, grading, and picture restoration was completed at Salt Silver Salt Restoration London. Now, that is very telling. They did have a, the 35mm camera negative and they were able to restore it from that so they did do some work on this and it looks really good and they they leaned more towards the original grain they didn't do much cleanup in the movie so they kept the grain because they were probably they're probably worried that if they try to try to digitally enhance the grain that it would look look worse uh, but there is a lot of detail you see through the grain and it has a very very um, it looks like something from the late 70s, if that makes any sense. Now, there's one more item in here we're going to take a look at, and that is... Bata. This is the poster. This is a limited edition um, set, so it comes with this poster and the booklet, which is... Uh, this is the, uh, the new artwork, and I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, uh, if you would, like this video and subscribe. I'm Dave Watkins, and thanks for watching.